The occasion is brought to a close as the Minister of Communications, Adibaya Shitu, unveils a special secure ID SIM card. The CEO of Secure ID Limited speaks about the impact of the Bank of Industries partnership and intervention. One thing that I have to say is that um, one, it was a vision that only took a development bank that was forward thinking to support and see the opportunities ahead. The Bank of Industry has been extremely instrumental in starting us up as a, as a firm. They were there at the beginning of the manufacturing and they're still with us. Um, they have played the role of a true development bank, um, not only in providing finance but in providing support. Um, the representative, Mr. Joseph Babatunde, sits on our board and they offer very, very valuable advice to us as, as an institution. Um, the Bank of Industry has remained a very keen stakeholder to us um, and now under the um, management of the acting CEO, Mr. Wahid Olagunju. And, you know, BOI and Secure ID uh, are partners and Secure ID definitely will continue to rely on that support. Secure ID is, has been in business for 10 years and started off as a personalization factory and has backward integrated over the years. Our major backward integration was obviously made possible by the support of Bank of Industry. And now we have added to our smart card manufacturing line a SIM card manufacturing line. So we not only make cards for the banking sector or for the government sector, we're also able to produce locally SIM cards for the telco sector. Our capacity, um, our capacity is scalable and currently right now 200 million cards per annum. The good thing is that Secure ID is also in partnership with global leading and current SIM card manufacturers, so foreign SIM card manufacturers. And so it's bringing the same technology that the telcos are used to, but producing it locally. The acting MDC of Bank of Industry, Mr. Wahid Lalangju, speaks more on what motivates the Bank of Industry to support companies like Secure ID. It's the first of its kind in Africa, the production of SIM cards that are either to be imported. So that speaks to import substitution, which means that we'll be conserving foreign exchange by embarking on a project like this. In Africa, there are about 700 million SIM cards that are connected. They've been importing SIM cards from outside Africa. It means that we can also export SIM cards to those African countries and we can generate foreign exchange. Then there is also in-country technology and know-how that will be transferred in the process of these um, projects. Of course, more jobs will be created, more businesses will be done by Secure ID. When more jobs are created, that means that the workers will also pay more tax on that PE to the Lagos State Government. And then the company will also pay more tax to the federal government under the company's um, the, the tax uh, regime. 
So these are the developmental impacts that we also look at at the bank of industry when we um, finance projects. Job creations, uh, ability to conserve foreign exchange, also to earn foreign exchange, um, create more jobs which would result into more tax being paid by the workers and then of course more company tax by the company itself. The agricultural sector due to limited processing and preservation capacity. This results in high food prices and food importation with its attendant effects on the nation's foreign reserves. To enable Nigerians optimize the benefits from the country's vast agricultural products such as cassava, oil palm, rice, tomatoes and others, the Bank of Industry has launched a 5 billion naira cottage agro-processing fund, the CAP Fund. Customers can access the fund to establish plants to process our various agro-produce into food products or intermediate raw materials for industries at a single-digit interest rate of 9% per annum. For more information on the CAP Fund, please visit www.boinigeria.com slash CAP Fund. Bank of Industry Developing Nigeria's agro-processing industry through the CAP Fund. Believe it or not, Nigeria is gradually walking away from dependence on an obsession with imported goods and services. And the Bank of Industry is at the forefront of that campaign as it continues to support serious-minded entrepreneurs who add value to the country's abundant human, agricultural and mineral resources. Visit any of the Bank of Industries branches closest to you for more information or log on to their website at boi.ng. You can also tweet at me at KAY Alliance for further inquiries. Remember, you can apply for the bank's loans online. Simply download the BOI SME loan app from the Google Play Store and follow the instructions. That's our package for today on BOI Weekly. I'm Kaya Alliance. Bye now.